Hi everyone, Vanita Pappas here. Welcome to this painting video of a Garden Valley farm. In this painting, I'm going to use a limited palette and I've also broken it down into several steps for you. I begin in the sky area and I put down some clean water in a couple different areas of the sky. And then I mix up cobalt blue and cerulean blue and this is going to be my sky color. So what I do is I paint around the cloud shapes, leaving the white of the paper where I want the clouds to be. Now where I have that water that I put down initially, that's going to give me areas of nice soft edges. So I'm going to have a combination of hard edges and soft edges. As I move down closer to the horizon line, I just need to make sure I add more water so that the blue is lighter in value. I'm going to put in some yellow ochre into the cloud shapes. At first this is going to look a little bit bright, but as it dries it's going to lighten a lot. The reason why I do this is it gives the clouds a little bit of dimension. And now I'm going to mix up a green color using yellow ochre, cobalt yellow, and neutral tint, and a little bit of cobalt blue. Those four colors will make a nice green when they're all mixed together. Now I want to paint this in as quickly as I possibly can so that I don't get any hard edges in the hillside. As I move closer to the horizon line, I want to darken that green a little bit. So I'm picking up some more blue and that will make it darker in value. And then I need to make sure that I paint around the areas that I want to remain white. So I'm painting around the barn and also I want a little distant building in the background. So I'm painting around the roof of that building. And once I have this hillside painted, I want to let everything dry completely. Okay, once that's dry completely, I can work on the background hill. And for the background hill, I'm using a violet color that's pretty neutralized. So it's actually a combination of lizard and crimson, burnt sienna, and some ultramarine blue. I'm using a smaller brush here just because this brush is nice and pointy and it will help me get a nice line between the um, background hill and the foreground hill. I'm going to spray this with a misting bottle just to soften up that upper edge. And then once again, I want to let this dry completely before I move on to the next step. So the next step is the foreground and I'm using pure cobalt yellow. And remember, I want to paint around the white shapes, so I'm painting around the backs of the sheep that I have sketched in there. As I move closer down, I want to make it a little darker in value and more green, so I'm adding some neutral tint. If you take cobalt yellow and mix it with neutral tint, you get a really nice green color. I want to put in a little pond of water, so once again I'm painting around that area there so it'll stay white. Now 
Okay, now I need to go a little darker, so I'm going to mix up more green color using neutral tint and cobalt yellow. And there you can see I'm painting around that pond there on the right hand side. Now as I move um, closer to the bottom of the paper, I want to go even darker. And I also want it to be a little bit cooler. So I'm going to pick up some um, cobalt blue. And you can see how that transitions. It's just a little cooler there at the bottom. I'm going to switch brushes because I'm going to do a fun little technique. I'm going to grab my smaller brush and put some pure pigment on it. I'm using um, cobalt yellow and I fill it up with pigment and then I just shake the brush so that it comes off in little spatters and gives me some nice texture for the foreground. Now once again I let that dry completely before I move on to the next step which is the background trees.